Hello and welcome to another episode of the Shooting Sports Innovations Dirty Workbench. My name is Nathan Carter and today I'm bringing to you the 1911 Bite Grips. Here is my 1911 that I currently use and these are the DSP Perman Grips that give you a 2011 feel so it's easy transition going between your 2011 back to your single stack with some 20 grip paper on there. We got like four of those in stock. Um, he's, he's been out of business for quite some time and we actually bought all this stock. So with that, we also own the rights to everything. So we've enhanced that and came up with the bite grips made in house SLS with modular weights that you can put on the inside is compatible with tech wells or as you see there, a Dawson, as far as the weight kit goes, you can put 10 plates in this set of grips, which is a total of five ounces. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do the install on these grips that have a lot of good tack to them. It's really good times. And we'll see what this gun weighs. We'll take these off, put this on, see what the gun weighs, take them back off, load in the plates, show you how that's done, and go from there. All right, hold tight. Also, to make this easier, we need to remove the mag release. And there you go. The permanent grips have been removed. We'll set them aside. All right, so here's your 1911 red rock and roll. Got standard bushings on there. No need for any short screws whatsoever. Let's do the install. Line it up to the front, you get it nice and level, pull it apart slightly, just like so, and then keep on going. There it is. Install, install, and ready to go. All right, so there it is. So now let's move some stuff out of the way. We'll weigh it like it is, lay all the parts on the scale, and see how many plates we can put in. 10. Almost like I planned that, huh? 44.99, a tenth of playroom currently with this setup. Well, that puts you right there at the 45. So I might take one plate off just to be safe. You never know when somebody might try to screw with you at the at nationals or something. So there you go right there. 44 and a half ounces is where she's going to live whenever we put all these plates in. So now I'll show you how to do the uninstall and how to put the plates in the grip using commercial glue dots, and then we'll reinstall it and reweigh it. To remove your bite grips, here's my recommendation. Aim it down, get your finger in the magwell, pop the grip out, get your finger underneath it, put something in there to kind of keep it off on this side, like an Allen key that you use to remove the screws. Get on the other side, pop it out. Once it pops out, take both sides and pull them apart a little bit, and then it'll go to the front. If you Hercules these things and pull it too hard, you're liable to fracture them, but luckily we put a little groove in there by design. So if they do pop, you'll have a two-piece design instead of one, but it's not gonna hurt anything if they do or don't split. I like to keep them together if I can. All right, so I put a single glue dot in the center of the tungsten weights all of them. And I have the right sides and the left sides. I'll put five over here and we'll put four on the left hand side. And here's how the install goes. So first things first, the lowest lower channel, glue dot down. Just lay it right in there. Smash it down in place. Take another glue dot. Put it right down in the bottom, smash it in place. The next three go 90 degrees from that and lay across like so. Sorry, it's hard for you to see. All right, there they are, all five in one side. Smashing them down, getting those glue dots to stick in real good. And there you go. 
you're good to go. Look at that. Ain't going nowhere. So it'll stay put for install. Obviously, whenever it's installed, it's up against the frame. It's never going to come out. But that's just really just kind of keep it in place, and they won't rattle. All right, that's the one side, and the other side is is empty. And I'll probably put the the two in the bottom, and then two in the top, and leave the bottom bottom outer open. And here's the install on this side. On the top. And on the bottom. And once again, same install. Go slide it up over the front like so. Spread them apart and click them on. There it is. Nice tight install, everything looks good, lines up, good fit. Mm. Mm, look at that, they bite. Mm, that's good. All right, bear with me, I'll put it together and we'll verify the weight. Fully installed, ready to go. Grips look really nice on there. Really good texture, gives you that 2011 feel. All right, let's weigh it. 44.455. And there you have it, the Shoot Sports Innovation bike grips for the 1911s to give you the 2011 feel and texture. It's got some bite. And that's what it's modeled off of right there, boys. Got some bite to it. You know, you felt them things before. They're aggressive. There you go. Another round. It's aggressive. It'll be available for pre-order. First off, to get it going, uh, links to the tungsten weights and half ounce increments will be in the item description. I think it's about $18 for six of them. So, happy shooting, everybody. Be safe out there. Once again, Nathan Carter with Shooting Sports Innovations. Thank y'all so much for the support.